Hey everyone, welcome back to my workbench. So, uh, what I've been working on is I had a uh, one of my first customers, he is having an issue with the uh, analog controller. And apparently I didn't quite test this shock wise enough in terms of shipping. And I was this joint over here was failing. This used to be a glued joint down here. Uh, this is going to be the version 2.0. So all the versions are moving forward and anyone who wants to get theirs exchanged or upgraded, um, I'll do that free of charge just because it's like I want to be proud of what I make here. So what it is is instead of being glue joints, there's no hot glue in here anywhere. I created two new brackets that hold the potentiometers in place. So, um, I'll be able to basically, unless they crack the housing, everything should stay in place. Everything is tightened down nice and tight now. I use 3M industrial, um, uh, PSA, which is a pressure sensitive adhesive. It's like a really fancy, um, double-sided tape, except it's extreme temperature, extreme everything. It'll, it mean, it literally is fireproof. So, um much more durable than I was using before. Um, so if you don't have a problem with the controller, continue to use it. If you do end up having a problem, you could just email me at retro at cyberfreak.com. And there's also, a, I'll put a link down to the description, uh, the, um, I have a new support page. So if you go to retrogame.cyberfreak.com, there's a new page at support. And if you have an issue, you could just click on it and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Cause it's like, I want people to be happy with these controllers and I was very unhappy to see, shoot, these things are not as durable as I wanted. So now all heavy duty man, I've put my hot glue gun away. Uh, everything is nice and uh, tightened down now. So it's not going to go anywhere. Everything zip tied down. So trying to keep everything nice and neat and clean. And you can see this is actually just an industrial joint. In case anyone is wondering how this works. Um, a little behind the scenes. I also, I did this, I'm calling this version 2.0 because before I had just a bunch of, um, that is the wire number 13, which isn't used. The, um, I had a bunch of, uh, joints and string tubing on here and that's gone except for one, which is unavoidable, but one is a lot better than I think there was at least 14 of them before. So I used to have the capacitors over here on the pots themselves. Now everything's on this little PCB. And when I run out of these, which will be a while, um, I will switch over to a little custom made PCB because I can actually cut them myself. Uh, so internally, these guys here are just uh, um, an industrial joystick. This one's different than this, this one. Every one I had, because I'm going to use this for one of my prototypes, but this is an industrial joystick. Top, top gets chained out, changed out. I put on the custom 3D printed one. These have to come off um, at the coupled. These are 5K, they're useless for me, so I can rip those off, take those off, and space everything. So right now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, piece seven 3d printed parts and these are identical these are new too because before i had the alignment wasn't quite perfect so i made these slotted and you even see here these guys are slotted too so if i need to move this up or back i will this one i had the hand drill but the future ones are gonna i luckily i only cut one new um housing here so i'm gonna add those screw holes to the uh the design file for this so all the ones moving forward they're all going to have holes pre-drilled going to use these brackets um and uh everything's going to use this board here instead of doing the it's, everything's all junction through this board instead of uh, uh I mean, there's no wire not not much wiring flopping around anymore so it's a lot neater now a lot more solid it's all should hold up for a good long time. And there's your, that's the 3D printed uh, 5200. 
stick, which is dimensionally identical to the original 5200. Oh, and other news, I did, well, as soon as I start getting parts back in and I catch up here, this is the dual stick plastic I've cut already. So it's basically you take one of these, one of these, and I want it set up so you could still, if you're just going to use it as a single player, you can just still use it. You have to use it as a right-handed for the player one, but you'll have um, your controls right here, stick here, and then if you're feeling really cozy, you can use this other controller here. So that's going to have the coming out top here is going to be two cords, and this is for Robotron and some other game I can't remember the name of. I think there's two games that use it. So um, I'll be able to actually go ahead and uh, do a dual stick. Those are for, well, I have everything on hold right now because I want to catch up with my orders and send out replacements for people who had issues with their controllers, which I'm so sorry about. I didn't expect, I expected to sell four of these the first month, not, the, not 16 of them, so I wasn't really anticipating mass production so early on. So I'm, right now I'm just at the final stages of uh, getting a system ready to ship out. And I'll probably end up building another one of these uh, tonight or tomorrow. Tomorrow's President's Day in the U.S., so no mail tomorrow, so nothing good gets sent out to Tuesday, so it gives me an extra day to build up another controller. I have two, um, I jokingly call these new brackets the Test Now brackets, because that was the name of the customer that, <laughs> that was... Uh, who's given me a lot of chances to make this right. So, yeah, yeah, you'll see now there are some little screws in the top here, but those are the screws that are holding those brackets in place. So that's actually a good sign if you use little screws, because that means um, everything's bolted down now. But yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be version 2.0. So everyone, anyone who's ordered that I haven't filled yet are all gonna be the updated. And if you, of course, if you have a problem with the controller, um, you can click the link down in the description and I'll go ahead and uh, get you in the queue for a new controller. So I'll probably end up, um, at the end of the day, selling, when I get the controllers back, I'll refurbish them, but I'll, send, I'll sell them as a, as a discount on my website. So if you don't want to drop the full money, you can, my mistake is your gain, because then you can have a, a, uh, perfectly good controller for a discount because in good conscience I can't sell a, a refurbished controller as new because that's not very ethical. So yeah, that is what's going on next. Oh, and I'm working on getting all my parts organized back there, so I need to finish labeling, but those are all the different parts that go into it to make this more of a, uh, a uh, mass projection operation here. One too many. So I can just go back here, grab the screws. I don't know if all my 3D printed parts are up there. The X bracket, the Y bracket, all that fun stuff. I think my only personal annoyance is these boxes are a bit of a fingerprint magnet, so I'm not quite sure what to do with that. But I guess it kind of is what it is at this point. I don't know, they only come in one finish, and I'm really hesitant to like bead blast this or anything like that. But we'll see, maybe we'll do a... I'm thinking of doing a white version with like um, blue Axe style uh, buttons, and even maybe offering more custom colors, because this is just like a standard pose. I have some different color buttons down there too, so I don't know if anyone wants any special requests or different colors because it's all I mean the price of everything is all pretty much the same so it really wouldn't cost any more just if anyone wants a custom color even if you want these housings only come in like beige black and maybe gray but I'm thinking maybe like a gray with a blue theme would be kind of cool looking um, but I haven't gotten there yet so yeah this is Basically, my finishing steps here. I 
game I like to play is Ball Boys. I need to get the audio hooked up one of these days. Yeah. After I do the final assembly, I like to go ahead and play a couple quick games just to make sure the uh, all the buttons work. Just fine. Nice center. This one, these for some reason these brackets. I'm having a better time. Uh, I just did that so I can test all four buttons there. Yeah, all four buttons work. The um, this one, the brackets are one. They're more durable, and two, the centering is much easier. The cal when I calibrate these, it's like once I set it, and lock it down, phew, done. And if anyone wants to recalibrate it it's just a matter of we just need a pair of pliers now it's much simpler because you just open it up you could tweak them slightly tighten it back down and you're good to go but yeah that's uh that is the new 2.0 i gotta write up a new serial number for it and uh send this little guy out the door uh get this boxed up and then on tonight tomorrow i'll get another one built up oh i gotta put the rubber feet on it I have a drawer of rubber feet. Okay. Rubber feet for it. So it'll be nice and tidy. Uh, so other designs I was thinking of maybe doing a, uh, I've had a request, the dual stick of course, I'm glad I got that. I have one I need to design which is gonna be going up to Canada, which is gonna have an overlay holder. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. Don't have a great solution to that. It kind of ticks me off a little bit. But once I get through these back orders, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna finish designing that. Those are gonna go to the uh, Atari 5200 podcast up in Canada. So, but yeah, I've been. The, the nice thing too is like now I'm using these little PC boards. It's actually much neater. So I can build up a bunch of these at once and uh, start doing that. But what I need to do tonight is figure out where these holes need to be so I can actually start um, cutting some, pla uh, start cutting, I have like seven housings to fix down there. So not fix, but a machine on my uh, CNC downstairs. So and those are all going to have new holes. So I need to figure out exactly where those holes need to be. And then Bada bing, we will have uh, more reliable controllers. No more glue. My hot glue gun's retired. There's no glue in here anymore. Just that nice 3M adhesive. Um, yeah. Everyone, thanks for watching. And I'm going to box this up shortly. I don't think anyone wants to watch a boxing video. Yay. So everyone, thank you for watching. Thanks for your patience. And I am going to be cranking out version 2 boy dos this week. So I think, knock on wood, I'll be done with my back orders probably by the before the end of the month. So if you've ordered, please expect your controller in uh, before the end of the month. So, And I, of course, I'll send a tracking number and information before then. Uh, but hopefully before the end of the month. It's what today's the 18th. Yeah, it should be... I'm really trying to push to make sure before next, end of next week, end of this week, into next, a little bit, maybe a little bit of next week, but I'm hoping to uh, get all the back orders done. I'll open up orders uh, online again because I'm getting new keypads or what I'm short on right now. I'll get more keypads in uh, around then too. It's trying to finally finish their new year, so I'm getting a bunch of keypads I can order up, the, I can uh, open up ordering again for the single and dual sticks. So until then, thank you everyone and have a great day.